hello all um, in this video I'm going to give um, you know the explanation for these three questions and these three questions are very important um, and it's very important for you to understand the answers as well all right so um, you have to understand so that's what the um, the main agenda of this video um, if you are if you are a hill test engineer if you are a system test engineer even if you are um, you know software in the loop that you are a sil engineer so this is the basic question you you it's, it's a very basic question actually but still people doesn't have a straight answers like they used to blabber something so in this video it will be very short so i just want to give a very straight uh, answer for this so please don't skip this so you can you will not be uh, rewind again all right so here let's start with what are the inputs to the ecu so consider this is a ECU. This ECU you may uh, work with any environment. All right. So after this video, so you don't you should not have a question saying that okay, um, the, for ECU these are the inputs fine. But I'm working on uh, open loop system or I'm working on closed loop system. I'm working on a hill system. Anything. Even if you're working on a vehicle in the loop in a wheel testing, uh, the primary of stuff the primary role of the test engineer is to uh, validate the output literally validate the output all right so i'll just make here the output so how you will be validating you will be giving some inputs one input or multiple inputs two inputs or multiple it's up to you up to you up to the application that you are going to test so let me give explanation on a practical basis also so you'll be understood the still clear so Again, what are the inputs to the ECU? So, the E to the ECU, to any ECU, you can give two kind of inputs. Two kind of inputs. So, on an old school language, I can say you can give either analog input or digital input. It's a very old school language. All right, so it would be in your uh, in your degree what is analog input what is digital input so that you should be aware if you're not you can you can go and check it out so that you can get clarity so this will be your input all right so how this will be to the easy how you can explain to someone that i'm um, so if you are giving analog input and digital input definitely the discussion will not be you know healthy or definitely this there will not be any further questions uh, related to the ECU it will completely divert to the uh, electronics so the inputs you are going to give is uh, either it can be a sensor input so sensor input is a kind of analog input all right so sensor is the one it will convert uh, it will take an input as analog and it will convert into a digital so that is first one is a sensor input second one is a digital input and digital input may be by any medium um, you can use scan protocol you can use ethernet protocol you can use lin protocol anything at the end you will be given the voltage either high or low all right so this will be your input so this is what the input the, the question for the what are the inputs to the issue it's a very simple answer you can give either a sensor input or a um, say protocol input that is can input or lin or ethernet or flexray whatever it may be so you'll be consider you can tell like in my project i have worked on a can uh, so i used to give a can input or sensor input all right again coming to the output yes similarly how you are giving the uh, input sensor out input and uh, can input like that you will get the output or multiple outputs as either um, actuator output actuator output sorry my handwriting is a bit bad actuator output or you will get again you will get the output of the ecu output the so ecu signal here it's a scan signal all right so yeah you can use this terminology so it's a signal you'll use the signal that's what your digital um, electronics says right so it's a signal so can signal lens signal any signal or you can give sensor input similarly you'll get the output as an actuator output or you'll get the ecu signal here because here the signal is coming out from the ecu 
it process it process everything it process as per the uh, logic what the you know uh, incredible developers develop so it will process the data and it will give you as a ECU signal all right so the first question second question have been answered so very simple the first for the first question the input can be a sensor input or the signal input uh, that is can signal in signal whatever signal and second output is the actuator output and ECU signal clear so next one is how many input and output see, see these are all you may think it's a silly question but people are struck in their interview uh, by not answering with this because ones who worked you know ones who understand and work only can answer this so yeah how many input and output again it depends it depends on your application say for example if I have a ECU this ECU I want to check the speedometer speed I want to check only speed that's what my application is of course we have torque we have um, you know the brake uh, we have so many we have uh, uh, orometer uh, then we have uh, you no know, the mill lamps we have so many like gauge we have the WSS sensors output but applications is for your application you are you are starting your application from the scratch and in your application you have only one you don't have brake you don't have um, you know torque monitoring nothing you want to give the accelerator and you want to observe the speed it's a raw whatever say for example if you are giving 50 percent accelerator and if the speed should goes to 120 kilometer per hour then this is what you should validate here you have only one input and one output so the next level this is a kind of say it's a baseline one or a phase one or a version one whatever you can call it as depends on your project or your organization and in the version two we have brake here ACC is act pedal ACC means not adaptive cruise control it's act, act pedal uh, act pedal and brake so here what you are going to do is in the version 2 here also you are going to observe only one output so here same you are going to give 50% and here you will giving 10% of brake pedal and the speed you are expecting is 80 km per hour this is because of the 10% that you are applying your brake pedal all right so it's not a sorry it's not a um, fixed one you will have some map table or you will have some uh, uh, we have so we have so many tables that you can call it as so in that in the table you will have some some kind of info so that you have to your developers has to follow and even testers has to follow while you're validating all right so here in the third version and this may be the final version i can say so acc pedal then brake pedal then gear you can consider gear here the output will be speed and you have you need a mill lamp that in that mill lamp you should have your gear to be displayed in your cluster so here two outputs so in this if you consider again the same input i am giving 50 percent of the act pedal 10 percent of the brake pedal but here neutral the gear is so here i have to validate here the gear should be neutral and here the speed should be obviously you can leave in a comment all right so what speed it should be so i can see at least how many are watching this video completely all right so here everything is these are the ecu so here you can you can answer from this how many inputs and output or uh, used to process as a signal in the ecu yes the answer is it depends either you can have one or multiple n number of input as well as output you can validate so that's all about this video uh, I hope you learned something in this yes and don't forget to give this answer so that I'll continue this playlist on Q and A all right um, yeah uh, we'll get back to you in the next video until then bye take care